Well, hello everyone, Scott here again, and we've got another review of a restaurant in Harrogate. Today we're looking at Coat Brasserie, that's there on Albert Street, right in the centre, not too far from the station. And uh, Liz is doing other things to just me tonight, so I wanted somewhere quite quick to eat. So I thought I'd have a go at their, their pre-fixe menu, which is available until close for most of the week, I think, uh, a bit less at the weekend. Two courses for fourteen ninety-five. So I thought I'd give it a go. Pretty much the only customer on a Monday night. So the coat is about 15 years old now. It was founded in Wimbledon, but has subsequently been sold out to a private equ equity firm. And uh, as I said, they do a pre-fixing menu. It does vary. I've got this one from the internet. It was slightly different to what I had, although I did have the pork terrine. And in fact, I did have the stack free as well, so it's almost identical to what I had, in fairness. And uh, a few desserts. I didn't bother with a dessert. Add some sides if you wish. There they all go. But I was uh, not wanting any of that tonight. So I started off with the pork terrine. Here it is. Uh, I had to ask some butter to go with it. With a spicy apple uh, chutney and some bread. And it was okay. Not the not the tastiest in the in the, that I've ever had, if if I'm honest. Don't know why they always put a, a lump of wilted uh, watercress, but quite uh, it was okay. It was fine. There's my usual generic blending in. Have a quick drink of water. Look, I didn't have a soft drink or any other drink in fairness. And then I had the stack free. Now I don't know why other places don't do minute steak, but I do like minute steak. Uh, really thin. Uh, some frozen chips with it and some mustard. Now it said it came pink. Uh, now, I like my steak quite rare, but that, to me, was much redder than, than pink. That's rare, I would say. Uh, Elizabeth would have a try at something pink, but I think if it was that colour, she really would be uh, uh, a little bit uh, suspicious of it. And, as I said, frozen chips. Because it was on a cold plate and it wasn't cooked very much, as you can see, the garlic butter on top is staying there. There it is, a big lump of it hasn't even melted. But it was okay. It was It was tasty. Uh, the price, uh, they add the, the, the tip directly on, so it was 16 82 I think, including a 12.5% tip, which was fine. The the, the guys were were pretty uh, pretty good, pretty good service. Do note it's a cashless place, it's cards only there as well, so, so that's pretty much the only uh, way you can give a tip. I did go for a walk, and it was Weatherspoons like, I uh, have to go walk half a mile to get to the loo's upstairs, I think it was a kitchen up there as well. Quite well done though, and then we go outside back into the February night. Um, I'm going to give a coat... Uh, three dragons i think if it comes up in just a minute there it is three dragons 3.1 uh not the best not the worst reasonable value decent place for a monday night thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please consider subscribing to this channel also i'd be very grateful if you could like this video and hit that notification bell if you do that you'll continue to receive lots more rubbish just like this